on today's episode of what can Zach do next? Well, I got two projects. If you saw my post today, you know, either a deer or a raccoon broke the motor off of my feeder. Somehow broke the plastic piece. It goes on there. So I'm gonna JB weld that back together and pop it back on the feeder. Second is I've had some requests to do those battery boxes that I put on my cellular cameras. Uh, I put my cameras out in the end of July and uh, all of them still have 100% battery. So I'm gonna teach y'all how to build those uh, and I'll put the links to everything down in the description so you can just click and uh, build your own battery boxes and keep your cameras alive. So let's get started. So we'll come over to the handy dandy truck. I got all my tools up. Uh, I went hunting this morning, so I still got some hunting stuff in here. Um, probably gonna go this evening too. But on this side, I got all my power tools. Uh, for this job, we're going to need the drill, battery, obviously, and, uh, my impact. Um, we will need the bits um, and some drill bits. And on this side, We've got oh more tools. Got a three quarter or three ton floor jack in there. Bunch of winches and sockets, wrenches, cables, all the things you might need. But what we need, drill bits. First of all, we're gonna go over all the tools you'll need. Obviously, I showed you the drill. Gonna have to drill holes into our battery box. Impact, put some screws into our solar panel, hold it onto the box, and then our hot glue gun. Um, that's just gonna seal up around the wire where it goes into the box, just so no critters or moisture gets in there around that battery. Um, that's it for the tools, unless, I'm gonna put a link in the description for the cables that are pre-made. I make my own cables, it's cheaper. You just buy these little 12 volt plugs that go into your camera and then your spade connectors. These are the female that will clip onto the battery. Um, so I make my own cables, it's cheaper, but the pre-made cables will be in the description if you need them. Uh, and then you need solar panels. I found that the Wild Game from Academy worked really well. Um, one, because they have the spade connectors with the uh, two-way connector. So you can plug the out cable directly into it. You don't have to solder on a new spade connector. Um, I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, so I am going to get to building this thing. First thing you're gonna do is we're gonna make a hole for the cables to come out of and into, depending on solar panel or the I'm going to use a 3 8 bit. The only thing you need to worry about, see the way this handle goes. You don't want your cables going into that way because your solar panel has to face on the opposite side of it. So it's going to go against the tree. This is the tree. It's going to go against the tree like that. So your solar panel has to be screwed in on this side. Um, so you want your holes to be on the opposite side of where your handle lays. Okay. And we're just going to pop it. I like to put them under the lip. Just avoid even more moisture. Some fairly hard plastic. If your plastic's hard, some boxes are, some boxes aren't. Um, also, you're gonna need an ammo box, obviously. You're gonna need the cable, and you're gonna need, I use seven amp hour batteries. They seem to work just fine. You can go bigger if you want. It's not necessary. Um, this is a lead acid, but the, the best are the lithiums. Most of mine have the lithiums in there, and I'll, that's the one I'll be linking in the description. Um, they're really not, they're like 20, 30 bucks on Amazon, um, and they work really well, especially in cold weather. We got a pilot hole. Now we're gonna make it bigger. Right. 
we're gonna need to drop your spade connector side into that hole. You're also going to take your solar panel, which I haven't opened yet, and drop it in there as well. You see we've got our interior hole there, that fits. So we're done there. Um, we can go ahead and actually take that back out. We just wanna make sure it fits before we start putting the solar panel on. Um, we're gonna test it our solar panel too. Make sure all that fits. This is the spade connectors I was talking about. So as you can see, it's got a two-way spade so you can plug your um, out cable to the camera directly you'll plug this to the battery and then the out cable will plug on top of it, it works out really well um, you know, make sure you can fit all of this in what I'm doing is test fitting you can see this solar panel has a protective wire on it or protective shield we we'll make sure all that fits and it fits great so now we can move on to mounting the solar panel so we're going to take that back out as you can see the solar panel has uh secure so you'll take this one completely off and it will go on the inside of the box to secure your solar panel wire so this will come out like this and you will put it back on when your cable is inside the box. This piece comes off. And I'll show you how all that secures in just a second. So we're gonna pop another hole in this thing. Make sure your legs, if you're ever drilling something, don't put your hand behind it because it goes through and then into your arm. Ouch, don't do that. All right, we've got our two holes good to go. Now we're going to mount our solar panel. So I'm going to prefab this real fast and get back with you. Um, you have to put it together a little bit, throw some screws together. Uh, so I'll do that real fast and then we'll get back. I wanted to make sure y'all saw this part. So on the back side of this, see the nut. Let me make sure y'all can see this. The nut goes into this hole, and then you take this screw to where your solar panel's facing out, okay? And that's how you're gonna mount that. All right, so I had to go get an eight millimeter socket to put these screws in uh, to mount the solar panel. Uh, so with the solar panel, you want to mount it on that lip right there. If your, if the box plastic is not thick enough, then you'll probably have to put some wood behind it to make it snug up and hold steady. Uh, if the plastic's too thin, it's gonna wear out and your solar panel's gonna fall off. Um, this one, as we saw earlier, the plastic's pretty thick, so you may not have to do that, but we will see in just a second. What I'm gonna do, these are self-tapping screws, so no pilot hole needed. You can see there's a rubber washer on them. Um, and again, make sure you go it on the opposite side of the handle. plastic's gonna be just fine it's thick enough it's gonna hold so you got that make sure your rubber washers on there I'm also gonna put a little uh, hot glue to give it an extra layer but you'll see your holes now now you can thread your wires through there Get this for 
y'all. So that little piece we were talking about earlier, you're gonna thread it back onto the wire down and you're gonna butt it up. You're gonna butt it up to the other side. So it's gonna be on the other side like this. And you're gonna tighten both of these and it will keep your, it'll keep your solar panel in, uh, wire in place. Pop off impact. I always keep the quick connect on my impact because on there at all times so I just pop stuff on and off. Um, popping a Phillips head in now to tighten this screw up. Not the hot glue gun like I just grabbed. Tighten that up. Tighten the outside one up so it doesn't move. Now you can see you have those stoppers on both sides and your cable is not going to go anywhere. Um, you can see the back side of the screws right there too. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know how good of a shot that was. Uh, now we can take our oh, battery here. I'm going to place it in there. I always place the prongs away from the solar panel side. Um, this is where I want to get a close-up shot for y'all. So we're going to come over here to the old wood pile. Oh, yeah. We're going to grab a little scrap piece of wood. We're going to drop it in there. Okay. The battery can still move around a little bit, but it keeps it from moving too much. Uh, obviously, if it bothers you, too bad if it bothers you too bad then uh, cut it perfect it won't wiggle some of mine I cut perfect some of them I didn't uh, doesn't really seem to affect it as long as it's not fully sliding throughout the whole box all right so now we're gonna pop these wires in there We're going to go ahead and get this. <laughs> Grab a battery on the back wall there. Let's plug up the charge. I'm going to go ahead and get this hot glue gun going. Because we're almost to that step. Almost done, guys. We'll take these connectors. This is the solar panel with those extra flanges that I showed you earlier. Remember, red to red, black to black. If you do it opposite, it's not going to work out well for you. It's going to get hot. We will have fire. Ask Kyler Allen how that works. If y'all know Kyler. Stop. Look him up. Alright. Red to red. So this is now, this is the out going to your camera. We're going to go red to red on those flanges from the solar panel. Let's see if I can get this on there for y'all. See how that's going to go on top there? You see the flange on the black there? The black from the out is going to go on there. Okay. So now we have solar panel to the camera. We're done. Hold on. We're done with the outside at least. Uh, now you're going to take hot glue gun whenever it gets hot we're going to seal those holes up um, the cable that's pre-made that I'm going to link for y'all has a protective coating on it kind of like this I don't think it's metal it looks more like a plastic um, but it'll uh, protect your wires from getting chewed I've had one set of wires get chewed in the past three years so I'm not super worried about it if it does get chewed I'll see my battery draining and I'll know that something's wrong if they chew this wire the battery's going to turn off anyways. So I'll go in there and I'll see that it's chewed. And I'll replace the wire real fast. Oh. But if you get the one that's linked and you don't pre-make them, then you won't have that problem. It'll have a protective coating on it. So the squirrels won't eat your wires. But I'm going to let this heat up and then I'll show you how to glue it up and we'll be done. While we're waiting for that hot glue to heat up, if you, those cables that go out to the battery the ones that I'm pre-made. If you 
or uh, the ones that I made, not the pre-made ones that are linked in the description below. If you want to see how to make those, just let me know and I'll send you a, a private video on how to do that. Uh, you have to have some electrical stuff already on hand or it's not going to really be worth it. Or you got to be making a lot of these boxes like I have. I already had the electrical stuff. Um, all you got to know how to do is do a little electrical soldering. Um, you'll buy the connectors, the spade connectors and the 12 volt plugs in bulk and then you buy a big roll of cable um, so if you're gonna be making a lot of those boxes it'd be worth it to learn how to do that because it's going to save you money um, in the long run there but if you're only going to be making a couple of them i would just buy the pre-made ones it's easier it's plug and play you don't have to worry about doing all that electrical stuff um, so back to making this box all right the hot glue gun is now ready what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around this wire here and I'm just going to seal it up. So I'm going to start from the bottom so I can make sure I get a good glue layer there. Lay the wire down. And just same thing on the back side. Make sure you don't drip it onto your battery. And we're going to get up in here on the solar panel side. Now this one has got those stoppers, so you just squirt it up in there. Same thing with the back side. Again, don't drip this stuff on your battery. And like I told you earlier, I like to put a little on my solar panel itself. I just put it on the back side, back side of the screws. Give y'all a little close up there. You can see anybody that's worked with hot glue before knows of these little spider webs. See, I just sealed it up. It'll probably take a couple coats to make sure it gets good and sealed. So let that first one dry. And be good to go. Um, once that's done, once that's dried up. You're good to go to launch it in the field. Um, I suggest if it's going to sit for a while, um, like in your garage or something, unplug everything away from the battery. Don't, uh, don't leave it plugged up. And always, before you launch them in the field, plug the batteries up to a charger and uh, get them to a full charge before you put them out there uh, so the solar panel can keep it charged. It doesn't, solar panels don't do a great job of charging them from zero to 100, but it'll keep it at 100. Um, does a pretty good job of that. So, um, but if you're going to leave it in the garage, unhook everything from the battery and then, uh, put it back in the box and everything. I keep the strap for the box. I use these Moultrie straps. They're the best straps I've seen. Everybody else's straps kind of suck in my opinion. The Moultrie straps are the best to me. I'm sure you can buy some. I'll put some in the link that are similar to that on, uh, Amazon so you can get the straps for them too. I just have extras from the Moultrie trail cameras. Uh, we've got any questions, let me know uh, down in the comments, but a feeder, i got a problem. I'm normally a very prepared guy, but I don't have any JV will anywhere. I thought about hot gluing it, but I don't think it's going to be strong enough to hold this because this feeder's got one of those six volt batteries in it um, that are like this size. So I don't think... It's gonna hold with hot glue. I'm gonna have to do some JB weld. So I'm gonna have to go get some of that. So that'll be a later video. Um, yeah. Now y'all, cellular trail cameras will stay charged. Um, just make sure you face your solar panel to the best of your ability to where the sun is gonna be shining through. Obviously sun rises in the east, so if you can do that to the eastern sky, um, to where you'll get the most sun out of it. Um, but obviously, depending on what tree you have, you might have to face it west to catch more sun. Just wherever the sun's coming through, make sure your solar panel's facing it. This doesn't, your battery box doesn't have to be on the same side as the tree as your camera. You can put it on whatever side to make sure that solar panel gets sun. Um, and your camera can face, obviously, your corn or the trail or whatever you got it on. So, uh, leave any questions you got in the comments below. See you later.